I fucked up. I've been fucking up all week. I, um, I was supposed to fast. Um, I didn't even last until 12 o'clock. Like, I get overwhelmed and stressed out and stuff way too easily and without food everything couples together and I've been feeling really shitty like just dehydrated and horrible and stuff lately and I've been trying really hard to like not abuse laxatives as much as I have been because like I took like 10 at a time the other day and I did that because 8 stopped working and I thought that was kind of scary so I just tried to like eat really high fiber and like a lot of psyllium husk and stuff like that but it's just like no avail and to no avail um I feel like everything in my life is falling apart and completely out of control right now um it's really it's difficult because, like, whenever I'm like this, I feel like I've never fasted or restricted before a day in my life. I feel like I'm just a fat fuck. Like, I feel wh my weight expanding on myself. I feel the way that my legs are touching, and I can feel them fill up in my clothes. And, um, I don't like it. And I, I just feel like I've never been in control and I've never had any control. And um, I've, I'm doomed to, like, just start gaining and gaining and gaining. And, like, my first starting weight was, like, what, 160? My second, 140? My next one was 250 and then 180? Like, what in the, is the next time this starts all over again? Is this, like, the last day before I become, like, 185 pounds? Like, that's a really real thing. I really fucking hate it whenever people, like, really try to urge people with eating disorders to recover. And they fucking act like, um... They act like, oh no, you're being ridiculous, you're not gonna gain any weight, but you, sometimes we fucking do. Uh, weight gain is a very real thing with people with our problems. And then, like... Nobody gives a fuck about that or even thinks about, like, what happens to people like us then. And I feel like it's it's worse than being skinny. Like, the, like whenever people get really emaciated and stuff, like, it's it's worse than being... Or being fat is worse than being, like, super emaciated. Like, my head is so fucking bad whenever I am fat that it, it's absolutely terrifying. It is terrifying to think of gaining any more weight. Um, and I know that like that's a given, whether or not anybody like us has been overweight or not. But uh, still, I, I just it really bothers me whenever people are like, "Oh no, you're never going to gain any weight," and um, it's just crazy to me how like whatever we have. We have people, we have society that's like telling us, oh no, 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 you need to like love yourself and accept yourself and to not try to, uh, not try so hard or do anything bad to yourself to lose weight. Like, that's ridiculous. You shouldn't do that. But then they're also like, haha, fat ass, you know? It, it's a complete contradiction. And then, like, we, there are people who obviously have eating disorders here on YouTube, and they don't get anywhere near as much as the flack of fatter YouTubers. Like, the evidence that fat people aren't respected is right there and right in front of us. It always has been and always will be. Um, I don't know how I feel about this. It's really a complicated thing to think or talk about, just like, uh... Like, I've never felt like I owed my health to anyone, and I've never felt like anybody owed looking a certain way, or being a certain way, or living their life a certain way to me. And I don't get why a lot of people think that. Like, even whenever you think about the health aspect, I think health is really stupid, because we're all going to die anyway, and there's nothing we can do to prevent that. Um, none of it makes sense. I don't know. I, I just feel like I'm jumbling, I'm rambling, and... All my thoughts seem really jumbled up, and uh, nothing makes sense right now. And I get that way whenever I get off track of my diet, and I've been off of it for, like, three fucking days, and that's, like, terrifying. Like, seriously, I, I felt on top of the world just three days ago, and now I feel like my world's been crumbling forever. Um. 
You know, another thing that kind of bugs me is how everybody talks about the control aspect of eating disorders. Like, of fucking course we want control. Every single mental disorder on the face of this planet, every phobia, every... Um, everyone who does drugs, everybody who eats themselves to death, everybody who starves themselves to death, everybody who rapes people, they're, like, every single one of those things, people who cut themselves, like, it's all just to get control over your life. And, uh, I feel like a lot of us, like, know that we're not gonna fucking live forever, so instead of, like, becoming a health nut, we want to, like, control how we die or something. I don't know, it's kind of a working theory that I've been thinking of. Like, most stuff that I say on this channel is just kind of things that I'm thinking, and those thoughts are, like, subject to change and, um, like, to be expanded on. I don't know, I just feel like everybody has really stupid ideas about people with eating disorders. Like, in the 90s, like, if you pay attention to shows in the 90s, like, I was watching Daria, and, like, the super intellectual was, like, <coughs> on that um, eating disorder episode that they did on there. Uh, like, she was supposed to be, like, super intellectual, but then, like, her best figure, uh, the way that she figured eating disorders work were, and I'm sure everybody in the 90s did, they thought that they were all, like, vain, perfect, popular girls. Like, her sister or something. Like, Quinn was. Like, that's who people in the 90s thought developed eating disorders. And, I mean, like, that's that's received, like, a little bit of change over time. I still think Cassie's a good representation. I'm... I don't know. I'm sorry this is a shitty vlog. I, w I wanted to make it better. I had, like, a lot of really good thoughts and ideas. And now I just can't really think of anything. Um... I don't know. I think what I'm going to do... I I've been fucking myself up because, like, I keep wanting, like, this magic fucking fast to happen. Like, I just want it to go by and go smoothly and easily. Like, I keep telling myself, like, yeah, if you really have a fucking problem, you're going to be able to fast like it's no, like th it's no one's business. You're going to be able to fucking go and do it, and you're going to rock at it. But that's never the case, and I know that's never the case. Like, I fucking told you guys, like, I think I said in a previous video that I'm going to convince myself that fasting is a good idea. Like, here, like, mark my words, it'll be soon. And it was, like, fucking today. I was like, yeah, that's going to be a great idea. I'm going to be able to do it, and I should be able to do it if a problem within me exists, and I should be able to magically do it. Like, I kind of expect that everybody else who has like an eating disorder I kind of feel like I'm like the worst eating disordered person in the entire world like there should be like this crazy fucked up children's book like the worst eating disordered girl and it would like star me and I just like suck at having one the entire time like I, I just feel shitty at it like I feel shitty whenever I eat off of my plan and whenever I uh go ahead and binge and stuff, and, like, I haven't purged in, like, three days, but I'm, like, I, I'm not looking to recover, I'm not, that's, I'm not a aiming towards that, I don't know what, I, like, my thinking was, if I just binge, I let the binge happen, then, um, I'm going to be able to fast the next day, but then that next day never fucking came, and I gotta put a stop to that, you know, like, maybe look towards tomorrow, like, try to fast a little bit, but if it doesn't work, like, the fast doesn't have to be definite. Like, you don't have to commit to it. You can just stay under 800 calories because, um, you popped a lot of laxatives and, like, whatever. It's, it's all going to be okay now. Like, I just, I feel like, every, oops. Every time that I get off track, I feel like I have to throw up or I have to take a shit ton of laxatives or something, like, and, and it's a weird thing that I do. I don't know if any of y'all can, like, relate to this or if y'all have done this, but I do this thing wherever I'm, like, I have to commit back to it. I have to, like, say I'm sorry to it. I have to, like, repent and cleanse, and I have to let this shit baptize me and uh, let them know that I'm still on board and I'm still game and we're still gonna do this. I'm still a fucking rock star and I can do it. I don't know. Does any of this fucking make sense? Just let me know, guys. Anyway, I think I'm gonna go. I'm gonna try to do better uh, videos. I know I say that every time, and I never do. Such is life.